Scoring a goal of this caliber alone is enough to warrant a lot of eyes being turned to watch you play. And when you consider the lack of depth at center midfield for the US men's national team at the World Cup, it was a factor in their loss against the Netherlands, Taylor Booth becomes an even more intriguing prospect. If I told you there was a box-to-box -box midfielder who is showing dribbling traits that rival Luca De La Torre, passing like Georgi Mihalovic, and a defensive work rate that matches Weston McKinney, would you like to give them a look? I thought so. That very same player, Taylor Booth, in the Dutch Eredivisie has just been voted the player of the month in the entire league for his contributions to FC Utrecht, his club team, moving up the table. And for those contributions, Taylor Booth will be the highlighted breakdown USMNT player for It's Called Soccer this month. In these videos, I do need to edit the highlights to make sure that YouTube doesn't take this down. So if you wanna see this video with the full HD highlights, you can join the Patreon or the channel membership down below, and we will very much appreciate you giving your extra support to It's Called Soccer. So I think this comes with an important question. What is Taylor Booth actually doing to win Player of the Month contributions, get call-ups to the US Men's National Team, and the most important question, can he play a role for the US Men's National Team as a number eight going forward into the future? Let's first start with the history of Taylor Booth and who he is. Because I don't know about you guys, but players seem to just be popping up everywhere for the US Men's National Team. I was aware of Taylor Booth because of his time at the Bayern Youth Setup, right after Chris Richards was promoted to the senior squad. But let's go back a bit further. Booth was born in Eden, Utah, and is a 21-year-old currently playing for Utrecht in the Dutch Air Divise. His parents both played soccer at a collegiate level, and through his father's lineage he holds an Italian passport. Fun fact, Taylor Booth is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints, or in other words, he's an ascribed Mormon. Booth developed in the Real Salt Lake Academy, but left for Bayern Munich when he was just 17 years old. Interestingly enough, Booth's debut for Bayern Munich 2 in the 3 Bundesliga came when he subbed on for none other than Malik Tillman. After making only four total appearances for Bayern Munich 2, Booth was loaned to St. Poulton in the Austrian second division. After his time in Austria, Taylor Booth was promoted to the senior Bayern squad in the 2021 season and made his debut in their famous 12-0 destruction against Bremen SV, and after discussions with Bayern, they could not guarantee Booth with the development path he was looking for, so he signed a pre-contract with Utrecht and formally joined the squad in the summer of 2022. After joining the Dutch squad, Taylor Booth has finally been exposed to regular minutes of first-team football in a competitive European league. Taylor also had a storied career with the U.S. youth national teams. He represented the U.S. at a number of youth levels. Most notably, Booth was part of the U-17 squad that went to the 2017 Youth World Cup in India. The U.S. in that tournament reached the quarterfinals, but lost to the eventual champions England. In December of last year, Taylor Booth was called up to the senior national team for the first time for their friendly against Bosnia and Herzegovina. He did not make an appearance in that match and has yet to make a debut for the US men's national team, but given that there is a January camp coming up and Taylor Booth was on the outside looking in going into the World Cup, this could be his chance to be called back. Let's take a look at some of the things that Taylor Booth does really well. Booth ranks highly in both offensive categories and contributions, while effectively managing the defensive responsibilities of his role. In the Dutch Air Divise so far this season for center midfielders, he is 13th ranked in goals and 6th ranked in assists. His vision for a youth player is excellent. You'll regularly find him making good decisions on the ball, and he's a great switcher of the field. He does that really effectively. He plays risky through balls that do come off, and that's a really good thing when you look across our US Men's National Team setup. It's in this category specifically that I would deem Booth an elite prospect. Taylor also shows signs of having a quick feet and good first touch. He can beat a player on the dribble and he's comfortable being on the ball. He is deceptively fast with the ball at his feet. He also finds space in between the lines and adds a lot of value to the team when in possession. 
You can see how his pass accuracy is a little bit lower for a center midfielder, but at the same time his expected goal chain per 90 and his expected goal buildup per 90 is very high. That again goes back to the risky passes that he's playing that come off as assists. Now Taylor Booth is not a finished product by any means, so here are some things that Taylor Booth needs to improve to reach the next level. While he does well to win the ball back and makes good tackles, he allows possession to be received from his opponents a little too easily, and as a center midfielder he needs to add more tools to his defensive skill set to deny his opponents the ball. From a physical standpoint, Taylor Booth is 5'9 and doesn't win many headers in the midfield. This can be an important aspect of your play to provide your team an outlet on goal kicks and direct balls. There are players with the same height and build that use their body much more effectively and Booth would do well to improve this part of his game. The other thing is that it is difficult to gauge the speed of play for attack-minded players in the Dutch Air Divise. As a team spends way less resources on defensive players, much like Major League Soccer, Booth needs to make sure his growth doesn't stagnate because of his competition. I think taking everything together, it's fair to say that Taylor Booth is a player on the rise with the potential to grow into an important player for the US going forward. What is more difficult to predict is the extent of his usefulness in the role that he plays and how much he can harness this momentum to continue to raise his level. For the US men's national team, we have a need for a gritty box-to-box -box midfielder, but we have a whole host of attack-minded eights, so where does Taylor Booth fit into this role? He switches between the two with ease, and if Booth can add that physical ability to match his unique technical level, he can have a huge value to the US men's national team squad going forward. Like I said in the beginning, I use portions of a full scouting report on Taylor Booth that collects information on his play, and I had to tailor some of the highlights that I'm showing you on YouTube, and if you want to see everything in HD, including the full scouting report PDF, that can be found on the Patreon down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this scouting report on Taylor Booth and let me know down below in the comments who you want to be January's player of the month.